I grew up in Shaw, Arkansas. Most people have never heard of Shaw, Arkansas. It's not even on the maps anymore. Very small community, very small farming community, but a congenial community that was very poor. And we worked from sunup to sundown. And we didn't know anything else. Nobody in my family, we had ever been to college. We didn't know about college. We did, that was not something we thought about. The United Methodist Women came to our church and they was talking about that they had a scholarship. I was offered that scholarship and when I came to Flanders, I didn't even know that you had to apply. I, my sisters and brothers picked cotton to get enough money for me to have bus fare. Well, when I got to Little Rock and got to Philander Smith College and applied, well then they said that they didn't have my name on any records or they didn't know about me. Well, how could they know? I'd never applied. I didn't know to apply. I didn't know to do any of that. So I left the registrar's office, went out in the hall, and just sat down and started bawling. I didn't know anything else to do. I didn't have any money to buy a bus ticket to get back home. So, uh, but the president walked out and he wanted to know what, what was wrong. Why was I crying? And I couldn't get it out. He, and, and I just got, he said, he said, well, you just go on down to the dormitory and spend the night. And he said, somebody will talk to you in the morning. When I knew that I, that I wanted to go to medical school and wanted to be a doctor, I was a sophomore in college. And when Dr. Edith Irby Jones, the first African-American student to attend medical school at the University of Arkansas, and she, when she talked to our students at Philander, she talked about the difference between the high roads and the low. She says, in between on the misty paths, the rest walk to and fro. She was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen in my life. After I saw her, all I could ever think of being is I wanted to be just like her. So I joined the Army to use the GI Bill to go to medical school. And, and my working with Bill Clinton, first of all, I liked him a lot, I still liked him a lot, and I felt that he was one of the brightest, smartest men I've been around. When I was asked to be the Surgeon General, I was the director of the Arkansas Department of Health. That was really the best, most wonderful job I think I've ever had. So I really was not excited, and when I was asked to do that, I said no. That was not what I wanted to do. And so President Clinton asked me to think about it. 